Hello well, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BT and let me welcome you to the Grumpy Turtle. <coughs> so for today, we are currently on the level that I sinned. So, the level is called The Lost Domain. I've been trying to complete this level since yesterday. So I started the level at 4am and I was until 5am trying to make a jump. That wasn't possible despite Lara said that it could be possible. So, I want to explain why I had to go to a walkthrough, why I've sinned, because I was I really intended to finish this game without going to a walkthrough, try to do everything by myself, but like Tomb Raider 4, like Tomb Raider Chronicles, I couldn't do it. And what pisses me off is exactly this. So we go to this place and we know that Lara um, the legs are now stronger. So what we think about this is that Lara can now make probably a bigger jump that she wasn't able to do before. So what we think is that, okay, so Lara can now probably make bigger jumps comparing to before without the necessity to do anything different, right? So it is possibly what people will think it will be exactly this. But the thing is, and uh, let me just quick save in here and in fact I'm going to overwrite the, the boss domain okay the, the, the very beginning and I'm going to make a quick save after pulling this so it can be more quickly because I, I'm going to expect to die in here and I will die because I, I will want I want to do something My legs feel stronger. Maybe I'll make that jump. so her legs feel stronger maybe she can make that jump okay so this is a time of door if I can shimmy through the in the right but I wouldn't be able to reach this place in time okay so I really need to make this jump and Lara says that she can make this jump but what pisses me off is that it's not possible to make this stronger. jump maybe I'll make that jump. okay that that's the thing that I want to explain it's not possible to make that jump unless you press the sprint key and press jump and what pisses me off and what made me go to a walkthrough it was exactly that I was more than one hour trying to figure it out how to do this and she done that she could make that jump but the core design the Eidos the the game itself the Lyra didn't explain us that we could now sprint and make jump so I had, gone, I had gone to a walkthrough and I found out that I've sinned in this walkthrough that I need to go to a walkthrough because a fucking game, okay, couldn't explain that now we can sprint and jump because the entire fucking game, okay, Lara have been raising a, a, her attributes, the, uh, she could now possibly last longer while shimmering, she could last longer doing some stuff, she could possibly... Um, she earned the way to sprint, which is actually explained how to do it. She explained that we need to press sprint key, okay? But in any sequence of this game, she never explained how to do a thing. So, and now we get like to two levels before the ending of the fucking game, and I had to go to walkthrough because the fucking game couldn't explain to me that I needed to sprint and press the jump key to do something. That is exactly this. My legs feel stronger. Maybe I'll make that jump. This. That actually the controls are so bad that I can't even do it properly. Okay? So I'm My legs pissed off stronger. with this. Maybe I'll make that jump. See, we need to do this. And then what happens is the keys sometimes don't react, so My legs feel stronger. Tell me, I Maybe I'll make Am I bad to be pissed off with the game just because it didn't explain that we could do this because I lost one hour of this evening? Of the other evening, I mean. Trying to figure out how to do this. Because the game didn't explain. I mean, I'm really pissed off with this. I mean, there are games which are normal for the game to not explain. For example, Tomb Raider 3 never explained the shit. But things were more or less obvious how to do. Tomb Raider 4, it was a little bit too hardcore in some puzzles, in my opinion. And we got Dark Souls. Dark Souls never explained how to do stuff, but we kind of discovered easily. The only thing that pisses me off about Dark Souls, it was the abysm, because I didn't knew that there was a ring 
uh, in the wolf that I need to kill the wolf first in order to traverse the abyss and use the ring from the wolf. So maybe I'm spoiling some people in here. But Jesus, but this thing, it's... It's just stupidly annoying. First, it's the controls. The controls are just horrible. Uh, doesn't matter if you are using a gamepad or a... Oh, look at this shit. Then... So, this is weird because... The sprint key... The sprint key is also the key that allows you to make this, the, these dives to, to the water. So there is a conflict in the keys in here that gets in the way of this. Uh, this is this game. It's completely poorly executed, in my opinion. It's okay. The game was rushed. Okay, but this is no excuse for this shit. It was instead of saying this, they could say like press sprint key and jump. It was that difficult to do this. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so I need to make this jump. Oh, look how tough this is. I can't believe... I can't believe I had to visit a damn walkthrough. And if somebody asks to me something like, Okay, so did you complete the game without a walkthrough? No, I didn't. I didn't. I had to, I had to go to a walkthrough. But why? What was the problem? It was a boss fight? It was a puzzle? No, no. It was the fact that the game didn't explain me how to sprint and jump. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this game? Oh, fine. So let me guess. There was a thing up there that I needed to pull. Maybe not, I don't know. So what? Maybe I need to make that jump again. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Ah. <sighs> Okay, there is a weaver there, in a very strange place, but it's possible to use. So what's the point of this? I'm going to quick save again. I'm really pissed off with this game. Uh, nothing happened. Is this? What the hell? Ah, oh, okay, nice way. Can we traverse this? Eckhart's lab. So we are currently on the last level of the game. So I'm going to finish the video and start a new one. So you see, I had to visit the walkthrough just because of that. This is annoyingly stupid. Maybe I'm just dumb. You can tell me in the comments that I'm just dumb. Uh, I don't know, tell me if this is right to do or if it is just me being dumb that I need to press print key and jump without the knowing that I could do that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I I'm just really pissed off with this. Okay, so I'm going to save. Thank you a lot for watching, guys. I'm very sorry because I'm pissed. But I do hope to see you soon in the next episode because it's going to be the ending. Think a lot. Goodbye.